Okay, we're just going to demonstrate three um, cutting techniques for foam core. The first one is a V cut, which will be taking place on these lines here. The second one is a U cut, a small U cut, and then a large U cut. So I've prepared five millimeter lines that are apart on my foam core, just using pencil and a ruler to measure. To do the V cut, we need to actually draw the profile of the V onto this little thin side of the card. So we go and draw and, and it's joining the dots basically so that you've got a V which guides you to where and how deep you want the blade to go. So you do that on the other side as well. So use the lines as a guide and draw the V. Can we see that? Okay. Now, you first thing you do always is you score the lines. So that means you're just cutting through the very top layer of the cardboard. We don't want to cut through the foam core. And I would recommend bracing your hand so you don't fall off the edge of the cardboard and you've got control of your knife. Once you've done that, leaning over your work, line up your blade and cut it into the foam so that it's exactly on the pencil line that you've cut. Once you've lined it up, and I suggest standing over your work to do this, your eye needs to be on this line and your eye travels down this line ensuring that your blade is in the right place. So keep the same angle and cut only halfway through your foam core. Do exactly the same on the other side, lean across, get the angle right, and keep your eye on that line. Travel down your foam core with your eye, and hopefully your blade's in the right position. Lift off your cut, and then you can fold this like so, getting a really nice, clean, 45 degree angle. So this is the V cut. The next cut that we're going to do is the U cut. So again, we need to score the lines. Just wondering if we can pause it while I do it. Do you know? So this time we're going to do a small U cut and I've prepared um, four lines, five millimetres apart again. I've drawn them with pencil on my foam core and I've just gone and scored. So remember to score your lines, line up the ruler and just cut just through the very top surface, always bracing yourself so that I've got my little pinky down on the table so I'm not having no control of my knife. Once you've scored all of those lines, which I have already, this one you need to have the blade out a long way and you're actually bending the blade and pushing it underneath so that it's just cutting the top layer of the cardboard off. Again, I'm linking my left hand to my right hand so that my right hand doesn't slip and cut myself. Okay, I think I've got a little bit much blade out, so I'll just pull it back in a bit. And my eye again goes down this line, making sure that my knife is going to cut in that scored line. You might have to like use a bit of a sawing motion at the start or the end just to get it off. Take it strip by strip and remove them just a little bit at a time and you'll get a better result. Turn it around for the end one. If you score well, you can see how easy it is to get it off. Once you've got all the pieces off, you don't want to just bend it, you want a rounded edge. So you use a pencil and push it in really quite hard to squash the foam down. The other technique is to get the blade in from the knife so that it's safe and use the back of the blade, but press really quite hard near the edge of your line. Pressing hard, turning it around, doing the same on the other side. Once your foam is compacted, then you massage it back and forth in your hand and gently bend it as you go. Because you don't want a line on the outside, you want a nice curve. 
And then for your model, whatever you're making, you can curve this gently and it'll look fine. So you might end up with just a little curve like this in your model. So it's a small U curve. Now the last curve that we want to show is exactly the same as the small curve, but you do um, more of these removing, you know, you just enlarge the, the number. So for this, you could have something that's really rounded in your model. So a large, you might have a cylindrical form that you, you need. So you need a lot of curved area. So you just take them off. I've scored them beforehand. And just need to remove bit at a time. You might find you need a little bit more blade and bend the blade. You really have got a big quite a heavy pressure when you're pushing the blade down. Take strip off by strip. Remember the foam core is very soft so it's easy to cut too deep. So it's all about control. When you're doing the last one, just remembered I forgot to score it so I'm just going to score it. not falling off the end, come back from the opposite direction. Sometimes you can do two but try not to do too many at a time because you just don't get a great result. Once you've got all of that off it's a matter of massaging it in your hand or again with the back of the cutting blade to squash it all down. and then gently shape it in your hand to get the curve. This can take some time, be careful, be patient because you don't want to end up with big lines on this side. You just want a nice curve. So squeezing it back and forth and you can see I'm shaping it gradually and you can end up with a great curve that could actually go right round and round and round depending on how big you do it. Thanks.